I've been thinking a lot about how I got started in comedy. I told you guys I'm Haitian, so I was never supposed to be a comedian. I was supposed to be a nurse. <laughs> That's what most Caribbeans do. I worked for a long time in politics before I did comedy. I was an intern in DC, and then I worked for Senator Gillibrand in New York City as a staff assistant. I was like a little, you know, lackey. It was great. And eventually I got a job as just like a front desk person at Columbia University in their film department, just doing administration um, because it was chiller and I needed a chill job. But I'd always had this desire to do comedy, but I was just like way too scared to even admit it to myself. I was just like, I can't do comedy, that's stupid. I'm stupid, I'm a bitch. <laughs> I was really self-deprecating back then. It was really dumb. <laughs> and then I remember I was working at Columbia and I had this deep desire to do comedy, but I was too scared to talk about it or admit it. And one day I took a different way home from work and I discovered an open mic in Harlem. And it was Monday nights and it was like a lot of dudes. At the time, there weren't very many women doing comedy. It was 1942. <laughs> um, I remember I, 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 I went in and I sat in the back of that open mic and I just kind of wanted to soak it all in and, and see if I could possibly do it. So I would go every Monday and just sit in the back and I was dying to do this open mic but I didn't have a joke. And I was like, if I want to do this open mic, I gotta write a joke first. So I decided that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna write a joke and I was gonna do this open mic. Now I told you I worked at Columbia. It was a very white place. Uh, and I loved working there, it was really great. But it was easy to feel isolated. You know, it's like being in this kind of like gilded tower. Um, everyone was really out of touch there in a way that was just insane. <laughs> um, I remember I was at work one day, and I was the only black person there. And one of the teachers for directing the actors wanted to teach her class about surprise, I guess. She wanted to like surprise her students, so she asked me to come in and tell her that her husband had a banking emergency, <laughs> because this was the most <laughs> bananas emergency the most urgent thing she, thing she could think of was a banking emergency. So that was my job, and that was who I worked, that was the place I worked. And I remember, uh, I didn't tell anyone at work that I wanted to do comedy, because why? <laughs> I would never. Um, but one day, we got a new work study into the office, and I was in charge of training the work studies. And the very special thing about this work study was that she was a black woman. And I didn't even realize how much I needed another person that looked like me around. Because when I saw her, it was like letting go of a fart that I had been holding on to for a really long time. I was just like, bitch. Oh, oh my God. Uh. I have so much to tell you. These white people are crazy. <laughs> so this black girl comes into the office. I'll never forget her. Her name was Tony. She had short hair like Tony Braxton. She had that beautiful pixie cut and like the bone structure to carry it off. I immediately wanted to be friends with Tony. Tony and I got to talking. She somehow got it out of me that I was dying to do comedy and I was dying to do this open mic. And I didn't tell her that I didn't have a joke yet, but I promised her that if I ever did get a joke one day, she could come with me to this open mic. A few weeks later, we're in the office and a moth flies into the office and it flies into my purse. And I'm like, oh my God, this moth is violating my personal space. <laughs> joke? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, my first joke, hilarious, brilliant. Um, I write down my moth joke, and I'm like, I'm gonna tell this shit at the open mic. And I was hoping that Tony had forgotten about what I told her. 
but I couldn't hide my excitement about my mouth joke. So I tell her about it, and I tell her that I'm doing my open mic that night, and she's like, I'm coming, bitch. And I was like, all right, Tony, you can come. So we go to this open mic. We're the only ladies there as usual. I'm having my, you know, liquid courage. I'm having a beer and a shot of whiskey, which was something I could do uh, back in my 20s, <laughs> and I can't do anymore. I'm getting my liquid courage. I'm getting ready to do this open mic. You know, the show's going on. It's a bunch of dudes, you know. I'm hoping one day these dudes will probably be my friends, you know. We're all comics <laughs> now that I have my joke. <laughs> Thank you. And the comics go up. Eventually, it's the comic before me. And this comic... He's like this chubby black dude, and he loves to do a lot of crowd work. I've seen him a bunch of times. And he's going through the crowd, talking about who he would and wouldn't fuck. And he lands on Tony, and he's like, but you, I wouldn't fuck you, because it'd be like fucking a man. Because Tony has short hair. And this is the first time that Tony and I are hanging out outside of work. So... I assume she's gonna be cool because this is an open mic <laughs> and these are jokes. Um, but Tony's from the hood, <laughs> uh, I learned, uh, because Tony immediately got up and she's like, fuck you, nigga! You don't know shit about me! You think I, you wouldn't fuck me? I wouldn't fuck you! a physical fist fight. People literally have to rip them apart. There's like rumors of calling the police. People are just like, what should we do? I'm like, surely we can't continue the show now. Uh, there's been a fight. But the host gets on stage and he's like, all right, let's keep this show going. And I'm like, okay, uh, but surely he's gonna do some time in between, you know, reset the tone. And he just picks up a list and he goes, Charla Lauriston. <laughs> so after all of that just happened, I got on stage and I said, a moth. <laughs> Flew into my purse and invaded my personal space. 